Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So let's see what important messages you may need to know at this time. I've already shuffled the cards prior to recording and thank you all so much for your support, okay? What do we have for my beautiful Virgos? What do they need to know spirit and need to be aware of at this time? All right, let's cut the deck and let's see what comes up. Virgo, starting this reading, we have the Seven of Cups, followed by the Four of Cups energy, Queen of Swords, the Devil. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and we have the Five of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Moon card. So the message I'm picking up here for you, Virgo, the Moon and Seven of Cups, is to not make decisions based on temporary emotions, okay? This can mean sometimes if we are coming from a place of confusion, we're scared, or even this energy of feeling desperate, we can oftentimes make decisions that are not really well thought of. We can make decisions based on how we are feeling, but may later on regret, because I see that with Devil and the Five of Swords, this could be falling for the temptation, falling for a trap, going on a path where we're not really so sure if it's really what we like, or this could be a path that's very dangerous, very risky. It may have some kind of consequence. So you could be dealing with somebody as well who you know is very prone to making uh, very quick decisions without really thinking of other options. The Seven of Cups does suggest options, evaluating with the Four of Cups, carefully evaluating one's options here. And Queen of Swords is air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We all know the Queen of Swords means using the mind, the sword, to discern the right decisions to make. This card speaks about assessing situations carefully, being able to tell things apart. All right, this talks about accuracy, intelligence, looking at facts. But the devil shows here that oftentimes our mind is clouded when we are in the space of feeling confused, desperate, or even helpless, this feeling of helplessness. Um, we seem to think that there's no other decision, no, no other way to resolving the problem. So we tend to go on a path that's quite risky, okay? In an attempt to uh, sort of resolve or, or make some kind of temporary resolution to something, the cards are saying it's not really a solution. It's just a false comfort. Or it's just might be a, um, some kind of a something pretending to be real, but it's not real, if that makes sense. So... In, in terms of relationship, let's say there could be a sense of needing to know oneself first, Virgo, to really know what you want and what you don't want out of a relationship. Because oftentimes when we're experiencing all sorts of emotions, or let's say we're coming from a place of feeling down, feeling lonely, feeling like we need something in order to feel okay, we tend to accept less ideal treatment from other people, or there could be tendency to fall for Someone who is potentially just saying what we want, what we want to hear at the moment, or um, see things, but it's not really how they are. There is a certain illusion. So cards are saying here, if it's not you, it could be somebody that you're dealing with. Okay, there is a need to pause, assess things, really think things through. Okay, because there could be somebody who's so quick to making decisions without really thinking of everything and looking at things from different angle and perspective. On a different message, it could be somebody who does not want to listen as well to your advice. You could be giving somebody counsel, somebody advice, and it's like you don't want them going on this spiral. All right, somebody could be going on this downward spiral, or it could be at this point that they're doing something repetitive, you know, five of swords and the devil. This to me is telling me it's, it's like a self-sabotaging tendency or self-defeating patterns, the devil and the five of swords, right? The devil means that oftentimes we blame outside force for things that are happening, but there's a high chance that these are things that are actually within our control. But but since the devil represents a scapegoat, like someone is always looking for something else to blame instead of like pausing and assessing and, and examining the choices that they're making. Um, I am getting here that it may be a, a specific person that you're dealing with, like with the moon card, they're not really in the best mind space at this time. Uh, a lot of introspection is needed, meditation definitely with four of swords. This card also speaks about pausing and really 
thinking things over. Um, take this message as how it ever applies. Could also be that somebody tends to recklessly make decisions without really making research first with Queen of Swords or, you know, do the, do the proper steps they seem to be rushing into one situation to the next. All right. The two of one speaks about decisions and choices. So this card means that we should feel empowered to make decisions. We shouldn't just feel like we need to go with the flow and, and be tempted to take offers or even go down paths. Uh, this could mean breaking a pattern. Sometimes people get to do things the same way because there could be this lack of awareness. Like, what am I doing wrong? Why is this the same outcome? Um, this could mean that somebody here keeps repeating the same pattern and expecting different results. Five of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Devil. All right. And, and so take this message here out how it ever resonates for you here, Virgo. Um, I don't feel like this is your energy at all. It could be a Pisces, some of you are dealing with, air sign, Capricorn. It could be any sign, really. Let's see. Or this could be somebody that has an affinity of, you know, believing in, in whatever people are saying. They're so quick to believing. Take, for example, with the devil and, and the five of swords. Like, this could be, you know, somebody easily influenced by, let's say, a group of people. Like, you may feel as though they don't really have a stand or their own belief system. There's a tendency to just, like, go where the wind blows with the wheel of fortune. And that's why with the Nine of Pentacles, I often see this card as independence, as somebody having a stand, all right, as somebody here who's um, able to stand in their own ground, stand or ground is what I want to say, make their own decision instead of just going with where the wind blows, all right? They seem to easily accept whatever somebody's telling them or what somebody's offering towards them. And this could be a dangerous path with the Devil and the Five of Swords. But at the end of the day, I do believe that everything we experience here, everything is a lesson in this cool room called Earth. But in this situation, I feel like with Four of Cups, this may be some kind of a pattern you're seeing with someone. Like it's, it's some kind of a disappointment. Like you don't want to see somebody go on this path, but they, they keep on making the same decisions or just same patterns. All right, Virgo, that's what I'm picking up. And, and you don't want them self-destruct with the devil. This card, the devil speaks about conditions surrounding a person that's causing limitation on their capability, achievement, or personal growth. This can mean a lot of things. It could be bondage to material, debt, addiction. can also mean false idols, all right? Superficiality, somebody really being easily drawn to something here without really assessing something, uh, without discernment with Queen of Swords. Those are very specific messages. And I know it's not going to resonate for all. The Four of Cups here means that somebody needs to learn how to reject something first and, and take a moment to pause and evaluate, get their thoughts together. Like, what is authentic for me? What is true for me? What is my belief about this matter? And not just be willing to accept whatever somebody gives them, offers them, or sells them. Something is an illusion here with the Seven of Cups. Or this could be somebody that keeps saying, I don't have a choice. I, keep, I have to keep doing this or I have to keep uh, doing down this path or go down this path. But in reality, somebody has a choice here with two of wands if they really want it. They can break a pattern. They can break a cycle here if they really want it. But greater force needs to be applied here in order to be liberated from the pattern. All right. Queen of Swords, I often see this card as well as very intellectual a professional it could be somebody needs professional help or seek some professional assistance coaching therapy mentor whatever the case may be to change patterns of thinking here with the wheel of fortune to not attract the same outcome i feel like for some of you this could be like a family member or a friend or even if this applies to a romantic interest I feel like there are things this person is doing that um, they, they could be saying, I have no control over things, but in reality they do. But it's not going to happen overnight. Transformation here, they need to really commit themselves to the change is what I'm saying. 
This could be somebody who's also sort of uh, fighting their inner demons here, Virgo. All right. I'm just hearing that phrase right now. Um, fighting their, their inner demons here. I do believe that everyone is capable of changing, transforming, and healing. But what's important here is they also allow themselves to heal. They also help themselves and, and get the proper assistance or just be willing. All right. Because I feel like for some of you, this could be somebody who you're afraid may be stuck in their old ways with the devil. All right. Like this, this image here shows chains feeling bound up with the devil. That's why greater force is needed here and change of mindset. Something definitely here is an illusion with Seven of Cups. They're not seeing it straight for what it is or seeing things for how they truly are. All right, let's see what else does Virgo need to know about this matter. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Solid support system is needed. Community, group of people. Sometimes it takes a village to heal. Um, this could be indeed somebody that you are very close with, somebody that you consider as family, all right? Could also be a family matter for some of you. All right, I'm also getting just now that with Queen of Swords and the Devil, it could be that you're calling somebody out for this kinds of behavior um, because Queen of Swords is very frank and honest. She doesn't filter her words. She doesn't sugarcoat things, but... I do want to say that with Queen of Swords, this is coming from a place of love and genuine concern. However, she does not want to get emotions involved. She just sees things for how they are in order to address them. You could be this energy or somebody that you know, all right, could, could be giving the, this um, kind of assessment with what's going on. The Queen of Swords often is being seen as intimidating. I do want to say that as well. Let's see. We have the Page of Wands. Ace of Cups. So the Page of Wands here, I feel like this card means healing. Ace of Cups, Page of Wands. This is somebody that needs to be willing to explore possibility. Explore the possibility of looking at things in a different way. Exploring the possibility of living life a different way taking greater control of, of their life back. Um, this can also mean that there's been a lack of progress with whoever you're dealing with or whoever this person is in your life. There's blockages into their growth and their progress, but this is why there's a need for greater control, okay? It could also be fear. Somebody has like childlike fragility here. They're afraid of making change. They, they, this could be stemming from, I don't know if I can even do the change. I don't know what the first step is. And this is why it's so important to have support. The devil can mean addiction. Anything could be an addiction, okay? Somebody here may have some kind of an addiction in one way, shape, or form. And it's causing harm than good with five of swords. And if they keep repeating this and go on that path without realizing that, that this is the state that they're in, it feels like you could be calling this out it's like you've been observing this person, Virgo. They may have refused to listen to you in the past. And you may have not grown tired reaching out to them, trying to connect with them. I also want to say to not be too hard on yourself, Virgo, especially if you feel like you've been doing your part. Because I feel like you're genuinely concerned and giving. This is coming from a place of love. But I also want to say that if somebody is not open to hear it or open to take action, they could be needing more time. Remember, we can only do so much to influence someone, all right? But it's still up to them, their willpower, their desire, their willingness to help themselves as well. Let's see. This could also be one of those cases where they need to listen to their intuition. Their intuition is saying, no, don't do this. No, don't take that offer. But there's a tendency for them to ignore their intuition only to later on with five of swords like a decision leads to um, a not so good outcome only for them to say i should have listened or you were right all along something tells me that that this person tends to not listen to the advice that's being given to them and they would rather learn from their own mistakes but if this happens over and over again they're relying too much on their own mistakes and experience, then learn from others, thus avoid 
error, okay? Somebody's not heating is what I'm picking up. All right, so I feel like that is a very complete message. I don't know to whoever needs to hear this, but it's a very, very clear message for me. Intuitively, all right, let me just pull an advice card here for you, Virgo. For cross watchers, keep, keep in mind that the messages here can also be vice versa. What is your advice for Virgo and this situation, please? All right, Virgo, it says making a choice. This is the number 30 in the deck, okay? And what did I say about two of wands? Decision making. Seven of cups represents a choice as well. Um, everything is, is a choice, you know? It says here, you are required to come to a decision. You're faced with a dilemma or a fork in a road and must make a conscious choice regarding the next right action. Whatever that choice is, you must take responsibility for it. Yet you need not to be afraid. You may have all the answers right now because the way ahead can't be known until you've embarked and traveled a few steps. Trust your intuition, ask for a sign from spirit, and you will be led to the right path. If you remain conscious and aware, your choice will be the right one at this time. Life is always about learning. Success lies in choosing consciously, guided by intuition and spirit. So that is what I'm saying here, guided by intuition and spirit. I feel like this means that somebody either refuses to listen or there's a tendency to let others make decisions for them. Um, there could also be a tendency to always choose or opt for a difficult path. Is what I'm picking up. Somebody could be always giving their power away if they're not, you know, making conscious decision or they're not honest with themselves about the motives behind their choices. This is what I'm picking up here. Remember that if we do make decisions in the past or in present that we don't really, or it ended up we regret, remember that just be willing to clean up, you know, and can always change course and choose another route. This could be what you're saying to someone, like there's a different route. You can choose something new with Ace of Cups. There may be um, with the double, some, something big that needs to change here. But the key here is that they need to see the need to change things, okay? Keyword is the need to see, because if they can't see the need, somebody can be bound up to make uh, the same types of choices again. So that is what I'm picking up for your reading, uh, Virgo. Thank you so much for watching. And to those that book a private reading with me, thank you guys so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Take care at this time. I'm sending you love and light and namaste.